for the Splash Live, Greater West Bloomfield's dedicated update show. Events, businesses, and people. Anything and anyone causing a ripple in the community. And now, let's dive in to the Splash Live. Good morning. Welcome to the Splash Live. Dave Scott here again with you on this Wednesday. Wow, Wednesday already. Week is just flying by. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. We have a very busy show today with so many things coming up, especially around our West Bloomfield High School and other schools in our area, their graduations and Lots of other activities. I know you at your house, if you have a senior or your neighbor as a senior or a friend or a relative, it is a busy time of year. Food truck rally coming up this weekend. We'll talk about that and a whole lot more on um, today's edition of the Splash Live. Splash Live is part of 90 minutes of live at local television each and every day right here on Civic Center TV and our outlets. I'm here until 10 this morning. Tyler Keith checks in at 10 o'clock with the Megacast. So it's all local information. They show a little more local than Tyler's, but he'll uh, get busy telling us about things going on in West Bloomfield, Oakland County, and the state of Michigan. Very easy to watch this and all of our programming on Civic Center TV on cable television. We've been there for over 20 years. If you're in the greater West Bloomfield area and you have Comcast, you'll find us on Channel Channel 15. If you have AT&T cable, you'll find us on Channel 19. We have all of our content on CivicCenterTV.com. We invite you to go there. And in fact, today we're going to spend some extra time on CivicCenterTV.com and showing you a new feature of our website. We talked about it yesterday. We ran out of time to get to it, but we're going to show you our new online program schedule. It's really quite remarkable, and hopefully you will enjoy uh, learning all about that. We'll get to that later on in the show. We are live this morning on Facebook and uh, love being there and YouTube. We're embracing the social media thing, right? Old guy like me, social media, can you believe it? You bet. Um, we are also live on the radio on Civic Center TV's very own radio station 89.3 Lakes FM. So you can follow all of our programming throughout the day as you're driving around the community. Just mark that on your dashboard, put a button, whatever technology you have in your car, for 89.3 FM. And as you get closer to the community, turn us on. You'll hear us just fine. And we would enjoy having you with us on the radio or through any of our outlets. And do remember that these shows repeat often throughout the day. So uh, you may be watching this in the middle of the afternoon, great. Or if you're with us live in our morning edition and you missed some of it, don't worry, it'll be there and also available on demand. So now that we got through all of that, let's take a look at the good news again in our area. And that is our incredible weather. We have another great day today, 74 degrees, comfortable, sunny skies. But as you will notice, today. And as you've seen over the last several days in our area, it continues to be very hazy. And that is a result of those big fires that are going on out west. That, that smoke travels across the country, gets in the upper atmosphere, and it makes for a lot of haze. And that's what we have right now today. So you'll see that today and probably throughout the next couple of days. But sunshine temperatures, no rain or precipitation at all, right? We are actually getting to the point we probably could use a little bit, but I certainly enjoy the nice days. 74 today, 72 tomorrow, Friday 75. A chance of a little bit of rain over the weekend, but nothing too severe. It's going to be really nice. Good temperatures during the day, comfortable temperatures for sleeping at night. Couldn't be any better. So, busy day today here at Civic Center TV. Our cameras and crews are making their way over in a couple of hours over to West Bloomfield High School for the Honors Convocation. We broadcast this every year right here on Civic Center TV. There is a, a little piece of the Honors Convocation from uh, 2022. And you can see that looks to me like Eric Pace, the principal of West Bloomfield High School right there. And uh, that is, of course, on our on-demand area of our website. That's exactly where we're getting that from. But uh, we enjoy uh, being there every year, and it's a great event. It happens in the auditorium at the high school, as you can see. Um, the seniors are there, and then everyone else wants to cheer them on. It's a great opportunity to honor our graduating seniors for all of their amazing accomplishments 
over their high school career. So that's just part one of two big live broadcasts this week focusing on our seniors. Our cameras head out to Pie Knob on Sunday for our commencement ceremony, the actual graduation. I remember when I graduated at West Bloomfield High School, we jammed ourselves into the stands of the high school and prayed for great weather, and sometimes we got it, sometimes we didn't. My, my graduation wasn't too bad back in 1970, whenever it was. <laughs> but the deal that we have now is so much better. You could see the video from last year, several years before COVID, we were at the ice arena in Plymouth. This year, we will be back again for our return performance for our graduation at the iconic Pine Knob. How great. So you could see there that there's plenty of room for all of our students, all the parents, you've got the big, beautiful stage at Pine Knob, and uh, it's absolutely incredible. And kind of a fun opportunity to go out there and be able to walk around without so many people, like you're at the Chicago concert or the James Taylor concert or whatever concert you happen to go out there and see. Um, so it's going to be fun. It's one of our greatest concert venues, and we you couldn't put it to better use than to take an opportunity to get together for our graduation ceremony. We will have it live for you on Civic Center TV. We do our very best every year to make sure that we capture an image of each and every graduating senior as they come across the stage and get their diploma. So make sure you tell mom and dad and grandma and grandpa and all your sisters and cousins and friends all over the country and anyone here locally, just physically or just schedule-wise, can't make it to the event, all they need to do is tune in to Civic Center TV at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. Uh, you'll hear the, the band and the choir, as you see right there on the screen right now, and it's going to be a big event. We look forward to it every year. Um, we, at, we, we always capture this event, and we always broadcast it live. It's one of the great honors and privileges that we have at Civic Center TV and a relationship with the West Bloomfield School, so we look forward to you joining us for that. So again, tonight, 7 o'clock, and Sunday at 10 o'clock, the graduation Sunday, honors convocation tonight, 7 o'clock, and all that on Civic Center TV, and, uh, and and I'm sure you could probably get out to these events, uh, but uh, make sure you got tickets and you check in with the West Bloomfield Schools. We're going to take a quick break. We'll get back in just a moment. We've got a lot of news of the day and a lot of other things going on in our community. We'll bring you up to date on, and then a little bit later on in the program, I'm going to head off to our Civic Center TV website, and we're going to show you our new exciting program schedule that'll make selecting and watching and finding your favorite Civic Center TV program programs easier than ever before. Glad to launch it for you. We'll do that in just a minute. Good morning. You're watching The Splash Live. I'm Dave Scott. We'll be right back. We'll be right back with The Splash Live. Stop by West Bloomfield Town Hall June 14th and get your health in check at the 14th Annual Greater West Bloomfield Health and Wellness Fair. Over 40 businesses, organizations, and vendors take the time to showcase healthy practices, tips, and resources for the community. Young or old, there's something for everyone and everybody. 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wednesday, June 14th, the 14th Annual Greater West Bloomfield Health and Wellness Fair. This community update from Civic Center TV and 89.3 Lakes FM. How do you know when you've made the right decision? It's the feeling you get in your gut. The one that tells you what's right or wrong. It's the one that says, sure, I can have a drink. Or the feeling that says, okay, I've been drinking. Now what? It's the voice inside you that says, I'm buzzed. Better leave the car when it's time to go. Plan ahead. Catch a sober ride. Buzz driving is drunk driving. And now, back to The Splash, live. Thank you for joining us this morning on Civic Center TV, Dave Scott, Splash Live. We are here to bring you all that is going on in our community. Let's shift to sports right now. Big news here. 
West Bloomfield High School freshman Cameron Tatum won the 400 meter and the 200 meter at the Division I Michigan High School Athletic Association track and field finals. It happened just a couple of days ago over at Lawrence Tech. Thanks to the fine camera crews at the Michigan High School Athletic Association, and I assume the guys over at Lawrence Tech, we actually have video. Let's watch. Now Tatum's putting on the effort there. It looks like Trevor Tatum, she's a ninth grader. And then Tatum is dead set on becoming one of the best ever in this sport. It is great. It is Tatum and Henderson. seventh person to pull off the 200 400 double the first since chloe abbott in 2016. well you can hear there in the video first person since 2016 that won the 400 meter and the 200 meter and you're, you're saying to yourself right now tatum hmm that name sounds kind of familiar. Well, I bet she's related to this guy right here. And uh, let's put his picture up on the screen. Yeah, that, that's him. Dylan Tatum now, Michigan State University star player for the West Bloomfield High School football team. That is Cameron's big brother. Lots of speed and athletic talent and amazing young athletes in that family. Tatum family, you got it all going. Good to see Dylan here. We look forward to seeing you playing a little football this fall. And congratulations again to Cameron Tatum. So um, we have uh, a, so many great organizations that are just out there doing their thing. It's one of the reasons why we do the Michigan Week breakfast every year to honor volunteers and people making a difference in our community. But there's so many and a lot of people have an impact in our community, but not, might not be locally right here. So here's a really good example of an organization I had never heard of before. They're called Charlotte's Wings and they are kicking off National Reading Month and Read Across America Day with an online book drive for the month of uh, for the month of uh, June. Um, so they have donated all kinds of books. And here in this picture, you see them out at Henry Ford Hospital, West Bloomfield, doing their thing. So um, a bunch of folks, especially young people uh, that may be in the hospital, that may be suffering and working through some illnesses, have uh, some great books thanks to that organization. So many people doing so many really exciting things in our community. I like to salute every one of them and uh, that from Facebook today. Speaking of great things coming up in our community, mark your calendar for this Saturday. You probably already have it there this Saturday at the Orchard Mall. It's 2020 three West Bloomfield Youth Assistance Food Truck Rally kicks off at 11.30 a.m., runs till 9 o'clock in the evening, and uh, a, a number of incredible food trucks will be there. Um, there'll be booths. A lot of different organizations will be out there. There'll be plenty to do. There'll be entertainment. There'll be fun. There'll be a beverage tent, um, and there's going to be a lot of people. Overflow parking will be available at English Gardens right across the street from the mall because, of course, we're going to be using all those parking spaces for all of the activities. I mean, let's just be on it, honest. It's just a big outdoor fun celebration right in the heart of our community at Maple and Orchard Lake Road. Good to see this event go on. It keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. Previously, we have done this event on Friday night. This year, it happens on Saturday. Live music, bounce houses, face painting. By the way, those bounce houses and face painting for your kids, absolutely free. Won't cost you a penny. Food trucks, so you can get some uh, great food from one of the many food trucks around our area. There'll be a bunch of them. That's really the theme. There'll be dining areas, local business vendors and sponsor tables, and a whole lot more. All the details, if you want more of them, are available at the West Bloomfield Youth Assistance website. Just get on the internet and Google West Bloomfield Youth Assistance. You Google the 2000 
23 food truck rally. But uh, forget just the Googling. Get in your feet, get in your car, get in your bicycle. And on Saturday, walk, whatever, run, ride, get over to Orchard Mall. It's going to be a lot of fun. Tomorrow morning, we'll check in with Kelly Woodley from the mall. None of this happens without the incredible support of our local mall, our local enclosed mall here in West Bloomfield and Kelly Woodley, uh, who gets involved in so many things from uh, our in, in our community. will join us tomorrow morning. We'll talk more about this as we get ready for this huge event. So uh, we, and I've probably been a little bit over exuberant about the Schuler Books launch and opening here in West Bloomfield. I mean, it's great news. We have an amazing, big, great bookstore that you can go and buy a book, hang out, talk to other people. And one of the things that I was really excited about the bookstore coming here is that we knew we would have a lot of authors and programs that will be happening. And here we go. Hold on. This is going to be the beginning of a long list of a lot of exciting things going on there. Tomorrow, the new Schuler Books in West Bloomfield Author, musician Carolyn Strio, along with Joe Malloy, will be there with their two new books. And, uh, and I think they're going to be performing some music out there as well. Gary Graff, buddy of mine, columnist, music columnist, legendary, I can say, music columnist for the Detroit Free Press, who's reported on everything music, had this to say about Carolyn, if you don't know anything about her music. In her song, lyrics, and poetry, Carolyn Strio opens up her heart and her head, blending emotion and psyche into a brave and provocative look into herself and the world around her. Whether it's direct or abstract, you'll get engrossed in her words without even thinking about it, taking the trip willingly and coming out the other side and better for it all. Um, I found all this on Facebook today. The other people that are supporting this event, people like uh, other friends of mine, Doug Podell, uh, legendary Detroit DJ, and a lot of other folks that are extremely active in the Detroit music scene are 100% behind this. So I think it's worth it, even if you're not, and I'm not familiar with her music, even if you're not familiar with her music, to head out. Good chance for you to get out to Schuler Books if you've not been there. This is happening Thursday night, 630. Should be a lot of fun. I, I bet it's going to be great. Uh, there'll be music. There'll be books. And a lot, I'm sure a lot of people will be there. So I wanted to bring that to your attention. Speaking of music here in West Bloomfield, I couldn't be more thrilled yesterday that we had Cheryl Hawk from the West Bloomfield Music Department talking about the amazing things that her choral programs have done at the high school over the last year with trips to the Carnegie Hall in New York, opening up at the Detroit Pistons, a huge invitation to Hawaii next year. So we have all these wonderful musicians doing a great job, vocal musicians doing a great job. By the way, you'll have a chance to hear them tonight during the Honors Convocation and hear them again at the, uh, at the graduation on Saturday. Um, but I thought it would uh, be interesting. There was a concert at the middle school last night, and it, and it all ended up on Facebook. thought it would be interesting just to play a clip and see how the younger kids are doing. So here we have a clip of the West Bloomfield Middle School Choir from, and I believe this is last night, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, from a, a very recent performance at the middle school here in West Bloomfield. Good. Uh, Dancing Queen performed last night, I think, or uh, maybe the night before at the middle school, and uh, they really sound good. Great middle school talent moving on to Cheryl's programs in the high school and just another amazing program we have here in West Bloomfield. 
We, uh, we want to mention to you, if you live in Sylvan Lake, we haven't had a lot of rain, um, but even if we had, there are sprinkler, mandatory sprinkler uh, use restrictions. They're in effect May 15th through October 15th um, in Sylvan Lake, so make sure you heed those. Check in with, uh, with City Hall if you don't know exactly how it all works, but there are days you sprinkle and there are days you don't sprinkle, and that's important. I talked to the West Bloomfield Water Department yesterday. We'll try to get them on the air next week when we have a Moment. And without all of the rain in our area, are we having problems? They are not having any problems delivering water to all of the people they service here in the West Winfield area. But they did mention that demand has been very high, especially from 6 to 8 o'clock in the morning. So if you're going to do some watering at your house and you could do it at some other time during the day, um, it would be good for everybody because <clears throat> as we, as a community, consume more water all at the same time, our rates go up and it costs all of us more money and could result in uh, higher rates for us for water and you next year. So do your part if you can uh, you know, take care of the water in your lawn a little bit later in the day. That might be a really good idea. Here is a picture of something you do not want to have happen to you. It, uh, it happened um, just a couple of days ago on Union Lake. Somebody started their engine and their boat exploded. A good reminder, this came from Rob Kalman and Kegel. Thanks, Rob, uh, for putting this on Facebook. A good reminder, if you have a boat and it's got an enclosed engine area, just make sure you hit that blower. There's got to be a blower button on there. Exhaust all of the gas fumes that may collect in your engine compartment. If you don't do that and you start your engine, that could happen. And, and good job by the Oakland County Sheriff Rescue folks to get out there and save lives. But you don't want to be on a boat and have half of it explode and disappear, as you can see in those pictures. So we're right in the middle of, uh, you know, one of the best boating areas in the state of Michigan and the country. Do be careful as you're enjoying our waterways. So we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. I have something really exciting to show you on the Civic Center TV website. It's our new program schedule. Think you're going to like it? We'll take a look at it in just a moment. We'll be right back with The Splash Live. Watch Civic Center TV with our brand new live captions. To turn on live captions, go to civiccentertv.com and click Watch Live. In your web browser, click on the Options tab in the top right and find the Accessibilities tab. Then just switch on live captions to heighten your enjoyment of our local programming. Thank you so much for watching Civic Center TV. Like what you see? Beautiful works of art, masterworks of metal, and accomplishments of artistry will be on display near you. All kinds of artists from all walks of life come together to celebrate their skill and appreciate their work's beauty. Hot Works presents the 2023 Orchard Lake Fine Art Show. Stop by July 29th and 30th between 2 and 10 p.m. between Powers and Daly off of Orchard Lake Road. And now, back to The Splash, live. Welcome back to The Splash Live. Dave Scott here on, on Civic Center TV. Thank you very much for, for joining us. So um, I work for the Greater West Bloomfield Cable Communications Commission, and there are a number of people that are appointed by the four municipality elected officials that that uh, in the communities that we serve in West Bloomfield, Orchard Lake, Kegel Harbor, and Sylvan Lake. And I got to tell you, they... The, the members of our commission who do an amazing job, I met with them last night, um, have been asking uh, for us to continue to make it easier for you to see what's going on on Civic Center TV. Now, times have changed. I remember when I was a kid, you remember that book, that TV guide book that we used to get? We, it would be inserted in like the Sunday news or free press. We would love to get it. We could see what was on TV. It was printed and that worked out really well. And now, and obviously in, in this era, Nobody does that anymore. It's obsolete. Next thing that got really popular um, is the menu system that we all use if we're watching on cable television or even any of the online streaming services. And that works really good, too, to find out what shows are coming up. But unfortunately, for a highly local operation like ours, 
engaging and participating in that is cost prohibitive and it just it it just there's other reasons why it doesn't work so we've tried to implement a variety of things on our website so you could see what programs are coming up and um, we keep refining it and and I think we finally got it nailed here after a lot of work so here let's go to the website and take a look here is our latest iteration of our Civic Center. If you can zoom in on that, Jared, it'll be just, or zoom out, it'll be called, cool. We can, I just wanna see the whole website here because we're gonna need that in a minute. Here, what we have is the latest iteration of our program schedule. So here we are, we're showing you the home page. Is there any way you can, there you go, let's do that. So um, you see our header up at the top, you see there's a link schedule. We'll get to that in just a minute. But uh, in the little video panel where you're seeing me again right now is our video. It's there 24-7. You can click on that and see all of our video. But right below that, Jared, if you scroll down, you can see our new program schedule. And you start at the top. Stop right there. You start at the top and you can select the day that you want. Now, you can't go backwards because things that have already happened, they're not going to be there. But you can see as we came in, it, it defaults right to Wednesday. And then right below that, are all of our programs. So we go down and we can see that the Splash Live started at 9.30, the Megacast coming up at 10. And Jared, if you take time to scroll down, you can see every single program, go ahead and scroll down the page, you could see every single program that's gonna be on Civic Center TV and when the time is. Now, I know you're saying, well, gee, that, that shouldn't be so hard to do. Technically, it, it was a little bit of a struggle for us to get it all working, but finally we have it and I love it. And the Cable Commission was so excited about it last night. Um, now, there's more information in here and we're gonna do our very best to keep this as up to date as we can, but there's a little plus sign over on the right hand side of every listing so Jared if you click on that plus sign right next to the splash live you'll see that you can get even more information now that'll be generic when we don't know the specifics of the programming but if there's more details about the program it'll all be there so anytime any day go to Civic Center TV and you can see what's going on Deb Macon from our cable commission said Dave it's been really hard to find out when the Michigan Week celebration replays are going to happen. No longer. It's right there. Now, on our home page, um, you can, as we showed you earlier, if we scroll back to the top of the page, on our home page, you can scan forward and look at other dates. But there's a, an easier way to do it that will give you a little bit more real estate. Let's go up to the top of the page and click on the Schedule button. And then that's going to take us to a comprehensive view that's a little bit easier to look at with a little bit more space. And the difference here, not to get too deep in the weeds, is that these don't expire. So if you came in a little late and you want to see what was airing earlier, you can. But again, you get the same kind of thing. You can pick the date up at the top and it scrolls back and forth. And here you can look at, at historical things that maybe if you want to see when something was on a Monday or Tuesday for some reason, you can. But you also can, again, go look at each of these shows and, there, and you can see the short detail. And then when you hit the button here, uh, this is a thing called a modal, but that's a pop-up window pops up there. And, uh, and it gives you all the rest of the information. So, um, a big improvement um, we couldn't be more excited about it. it's our new program schedule and you can see what is coming up on Civic Center TV so you can arrange your day we know that you know what there, there's an awful lot going on and it changes um, quite frequently here so uh, use this tool now to be able to view the programs that you want to view and do remember that virtually every program after it airs originally is in our on-demand area we don't have time to click that link but there it is right at the top of the site you've got home local news schedule watch live and on demand you can watch us live you can go on demand and now you've got a really good program schedule i hope that helps tell your friends and neighbors it's there and i hope you enjoy that new feature here at Civic Center TV. That's all the time we have for today. Have a great day. See you tomorrow morning right here on The Splash Live.